Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. In today's video, we are doing the long-awaited repot of my Hoya Obavada. As you can see, she has definitely got a lot bigger since I first got her. Honestly, this is my favorite plant in my collection, so I've put off repotting it for quite some time. That's also because I do plan on repotting her in pond today, so I am a little nervous about that. She is still in soil, which you can barely see because she's so full. And the reason why I wanted to try pond with this plant is because my Hoya, which one is it? My Hoya Serpents is doing so well since her transfer. Before I show you my Hoya Serpents plant, I did take quite a few cuttings from her. So she is a little bit less full than she was. Nevertheless, this plant is thriving in pond. Like, look at all of those new growth points. I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six new growth points, seven, eight, nine, ten. I literally counted at least 10 growth points in here, so I know this plant is loving pond. If I can get my Hoya obovada to grow like my Hoya serpents is growing in pond, I would be the happiest person on earth. So we are going to be repotting her in pond today. If that's something that interests you, then just keep watching. Let's get into it. If you have a Hoya obovada, you know these little tiny little baby leaves are so sensitive and they're so easy to just knock off. But for one, she is in a plastic pot. Oh my God, I didn't realize how small this pot was. And she does have roots coming out the bottom. You can hear how dry she is. I was checking on this plant today and it looks like there might be a peduncle in here. So I'm really nervous that it's gonna like die off once I repot it. I'm hoping not. Let me not even speak that into existence. I'm gonna put on gloves because Y'all know I'm scared of bugs. And it's not that I've seen any bugs around this plant, but we have to take our precautions. I don't know what I'm gonna do when summertime comes. Like I can't wait for nice weather again, but whew, last summer was very traumatizing. If you know, you know. So we're going to first squeeze the pot like this. just to like loosen it up. And I'm being very careful because this is my favorite freaking plant. I don't want it to get damaged in any way. But I'm so nervous because what the heck. Let's do this. Let's try to get this pot off. It's gonna be hard because it's pretty root bound, I think. Oh, we got something. I need to do this over the trash though. Just put you there for now. And this is what we're working with. Let me leave this fucking trash can out the way so I can show you properly. This is what we are working with. She's not that root bound, but I think she's okay to get switched upon. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's get the dirt off of her. Oof. She is a condensed. <gasps> I just heard something crunch. Oh no, oh no. I gotta be careful with this one. Let's start from the top and just get the dirt off the top. This is gonna take forever. Damn, this is hard. I knew it would be though. That's why I've dreaded making this video. There's no way I'm going outside and using the hose in the winter time, so this is what we're doing. Gotta kind of be gentle. Like, what can I do to make this easier? One eternity later. Guys, that literally took forever. Oh my god. I did not know that there were individual cuttings all in that pot. And now I literally have all of these cuttings. This is as clean as I could get the roots which is pretty clean, honestly. Oh, 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 oh my God, I almost just dropped all of these. I also have all these cute little shorter cuttings. Guys, is that a peduncle? Can someone tell me if this is a peduncle? Because if it is, I'm going to cry. I think it might be a peduncle, honestly. It looks like one, unless it's just a dried up crusty piece, like, 
I probably shouldn't have repotted her when she looks like she's about to bloom, but I really couldn't resist. This is the pot we're going to be potting her in. This is one of the jars that we sealed the hole in in one of my previous videos where I teach you guys how to completely seal drainage holes. Then we have all of this clean pond. This is really difficult to clean. It's a lot dustier than Lekka in my opinion, but nevertheless, we got her done. I'm just going to fill this a little bit with some pond. I should have got a scooper. I literally have over 13 cuttings, so I'm not sure if they're all gonna fit in this pot. I put about that much pond in there. I'm definitely putting our bloomer in there. Let's start with her actually, so we can get her out of the way and safe. I'm gonna try to position her so that that little possible peduncle is facing out of the pot so it doesn't get smothered because previously when it was in its last pot it was literally I had to dig to find it but I've been keeping my eye on it and it really looks like a peduncle and if this thing blooms I swear to god let's get some more cuttings in here there's some really long cuttings though like this one extra long this one's kind of this is not the, literally the same size April what are you talking about there we go who is it? So this is what the first repot looks like. I really didn't think I was gonna have all those cuttings, but I'm only gonna be repotting her into two pots. I really wanted one of my obovadas to be into this pot specifically. One more time for the little peduncle there that we hope is an actual peduncle. I really wanna hang this in the window, but it's really heavy, so we're gonna have to see about that. But she looks so cute, yay. I'm hoping there's enough pond in here to fill this pot because I'm going to put the plant back into its original pot now. Okay. Do we have enough pond? I don't know. I should have did four batches, but I literally cleaned three batches the same way that I cleaned Lekka. So imagine how long that took. This looks so crazy. It's so hard to get them to stay once you like put them down, but I'm trying. This plant does not look the same. You guys are probably like, why would you do that? Why would she do that? But because I don't want soil in my house anymore and all my other Hoya are doing great in pond. I might even move my Hoya pubicalyx to pond. Nothing's wrong with her, but like I said, pond just seems to treat Hoya quite nicely. Oh. I'm gonna put you right here. I'm kind of putting them in a circle. Oh my God, I still have shorter cuttings though. I think I'm gonna have to put some pawn in. I was about to grab it with my hand, but let's be professional. Oops. Right onto the floor. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. <gasps> Oh, I thought this leaf came off. Oh my God, I was about to cry. I'm gonna have to not be stingy with the pond. And if I have to clean more, that's just what I have to do. You stay there, thank you, sir. And plants don't really have a one specific gender. Oh my gosh. Can you not fall out? Because you keep falling out and it's pissing me off. Oh my Jesus. I think we need to like stick you sideways. And be a little rough with ya. There we go. This one is so... Very juicy. Okay. Let's stick you right through here. Oh my God, I just don't want to like, you know, break the roots on his way down. I'm trying to make a little... Holy hole for him. Oh, holy, holy, holy. This video is going to be so fucking long. This is the last long cutting. I'm so excited because this was really hard. <laughs> and we're gonna go plunging down to the ground to get out of the rain. How am I gonna backfill this? 
Okay, my camera's overheating. I finally repotted her. That was extremely hard because of how many cuttings there were. Like, there's still a couple cuttings that need a home at this point. She's still as luscious as she was, even with half of her cuttings taken out of her. Like, are you kidding? I just know she's gonna do so much better. I've been wanting to repot her in pond for a while now because, like you guys know, I have been getting my plants out of soil. I think I only have like, yeah, I only have about two plants in soil now. That's a big change from last year around this time. I probably had about 10 plants in LECA and the rest were in soil. It's nice to get most of my plants out of dirt, just the way I like it. I'm gonna water them with water bottle water, water bottle. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? I'm gonna water them with water bottle water because when it's my favorite plant, they get a pull in spring. They drink what I drink, besides Pepsi, because that would be terrible. I got the Miracle Grow Orchard Mess. Orchard? Orchid? Orchid? <gasps> How do you say this? I have the Miracle Grow Orchid Mist to spray Hoyas to promote. Oh my God, don't spray the camera, April. I sprayed a little bit on that little padunky. I think I have one, two, three. I have four obovadas and that's including the one that I propagated previously. It's really small, but it's still a plant nevertheless. And I also have a couple of cuttings from this big repot that haven't made it to a home, like I said. So they might get thrown into one of these or I might just have a fifth obovada. That does bring me to the end of today's video. Give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Mother of Plants. And until my next video, bye guys. I have the Miracle Grow Orchid Mist. <laughs>